Hola Pisces, welcome to your mid-month tune-up. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Uh, otherwise, let's get to your reading. So Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces for the middle of December 2021? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine through your messages? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you. What do you see what do they need to know hmm that's interesting because the hierophant's in here and, and the hierophant came out when i was doing a pre-shuffle okay additional card please additional card for um how they'll be moving forward from this reading or out of the middle of december one more card please how they'll be moving out of december One. Additional card for how Pisces will be moving out of December, please. Okay. Um, all right. Just, just a few other things I want to mention. Make sure you click on the link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. I'm wrapping up my 2022 sun moon predictions. Go check those yours out in my playlist. 2021s are still up there. See if they rang true for you. Um, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Anything you can to support the channel would be greatly appreciated. Let's get to it. So, um, and I just, I had a thought before this, I was going to write it down for what the title was going to be and I lost it. Maybe it'll come back to me. So, oh, I just remembered what it was. Oh, my lip gloss just like went all over the place. If I don't write this down, I know I'm going to forget. So, um, I'll deal with my lip gloss later. Um, <laughs> so general energies that I'm getting for you all is somebody's coming in and telling you something. Um, you're, you may not be very happy to hear it, but you should take comfort in knowing that it's, a, it's the absolute truth. Okay. I think that their delivery probably isn't the best. I think that when they kind of lay it on you, you kind of look at them like, wow, you could have softened the edges on that, but okay. Um, I feel as though it's somebody um, letting you know that you and them are not on the same page or that they no longer want to kind of be on the same page or be in a connection with you. Um, but again, I feel like they're just being very blunt, very honest about it. They don't necessarily, you know, see a point in kind of continuing whatever you guys are doing. Now, keep in mind, this does not have to be a romantic situation. This could be a friendship. This could be a family member. It could be um, a business partnership, you know, and one person telling the other person, hey, listen, I'm going to talk to you. This isn't working out for me anymore. I must feel like that's exactly how that's being put in. And um, you're not going to see it now, but um, just because its delivery was so, you know, kind of stung in a way. But what will happen as a result of this is you're going to know exactly what you're in for now and you'll be able to move things forward very quickly instead of having like back and forth and you know all of this stuff so it might it might bother you a little bit but <clears throat> i feel as though you'll be able to kind of move forward from it or at least know where the other person stands so there is there is something to be said for someone being candid and truthful um challenge position we have the hierophant card in reverse so this this is an indication to me and this is a card of taurus that again um someone in a connection no longer wants to it to be a connection doesn't want it to be a traditional connection they want to um leave whatever whatever arrangement the two of you have had they don't want to follow the rules anymore set up by this connection they want to do things different they want to go their own way um they want to roam or, or what have you so i feel like that's a challenge for you because i think you were um, connected to this person and then suddenly you're not so um, it, it's a little bit problematic but the good news is we have the devil card here for advice and and that's the card of Capricorn um, and they're telling you here let it go because it, it wasn't meant to be it, it actually was a very toxic relationship is what they're kind of saying they're saying that it could have been um, a, it, it was just a relationship based on dark things so you know it was it could have been um, you know obsessions or um, codependency or you know sometimes it's addictions of, of some sort or you know anything like that and and feeling powerless so I mean in general they're just telling me whatever this connection was wasn't a good connection and you really need to see that and you really need to let it go and realize that this this is really good for you that this is this kind of happened um 
Now, as you move forward from this reading or out of the middle of December, I see the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse. Um, again, I, I feel as though you're not going to be very happy. I'm not going to lie. You're going to have this kind of attitude moving out of the middle of December. And I get it too, because hello, it's right around holiday time. You know, who, who wants to be told something negative right before the holidays and right before the end of the year? Um, but it, you know, I'm getting that you're moving forward and kind of saying, this really sucks. Like, I didn't know that things were going to turn around like this and it was going to turn around, um, it, you know, into a bad situation. I don't like that I don't have any control over this. I feel helpless. I can't do anything to make this better or make it be the way that I want it to be. And you don't want things to change. So you're being very resistant to it. Um, I mean, I think you were very comfortable with this being the way that it was and as predictable it was um, and familiar to you, but that doesn't mean that it was right. Okay. So you will have a tough time moving forward, but just kind of realize that I really don't think that, that this was meant for you or it's not for you. Why is the, um, why, okay. So we have the Hermit card here in the upright. Okay, yeah, this is, this is somebody who is kind of saying, um, you know, I no longer want to be in this. And, and I feel, and with the Hermit card in the upright, you're just kind of left with yourself. Um, you're alone. Okay. And, and you're left alone with your own thoughts and your own conversations that you're having with yourself and trying to figure things out and, you know, having, uh, having quiet and solitude and all these other things. Um, and realizing that it's going to be a different journey for you as you kind of like move forward. So, and the Hermit card is the card of Virgo. So it's almost like you're in something and then suddenly you weren't. And then here you are by yourself. Um, the good part is that you are having those internal conversations with yourself to try to figure things out and where you're going to go now and what you're going to kind of do. So um, I don't feel like you're, you're isolating yourself, being negative or anything like that. You're just like, okay, I'm by myself now. So, you know, let me just kind of get in touch with my inner self and see how I kind of feel about this and search my soul and see how I'm going to move forward. Um, I mean, I don't see anything in here that, that says you're absolutely like grief stricken and, you know, looking fondly at bridges or anything like that. So, but I think you're kind of like, wow, you know, this kind of sucks. Yeah. And I, I think that you were, that you and this connection, you were kind of thinking that this was going to be, you know, a, a longer thing than it actually ended up being. You were making plans. You were, you know, putting down roots. You were figuring out, um, you know, I want to grow with this person. I want to build assets with this person. I want to, um, buy property with this person, have a family with this person, build a business with this person, whatever it was. I mean, you were kind of thinking that, and I think you're having a hard time. The challenge is kind of letting go of that. Now it's like, well, well now what, you know, I thought it was going to be this and now it isn't. So, um, why is the, okay, we have the, yeah. So we have the 10 of cups here in the upright. To me, that means this was not for you. You will find something else. They're telling you it's some, there's something better that's awaiting you. This person did you a favor. You dodged a bullet, whatever the situation. So um, you'll go on to something better. Um, you'll find that person that you're supposed to have that wonderful family with, that white picket fence with, be harmonious with. Um, you know, if it was a, a career or business thing, you're going to move on to find something more fulfilling, um, somebody better that you can build with. You're going to have prosperity. You're going to be happy. Um, I don't feel, I feel if you kind of look at this, you weren't very, as happy as you could have been. Um, this person had kind of things about them that were kind of dark, I feel. Um, okay. And maybe, maybe you didn't realize it. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in the, why is the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse for Pisces as they move forward? Okay. You may, moving forward, you may, um, I almost don't want to say this, but you may, you may actually see this person with somebody else or with a different crowd or with a group of friends or being out like enjoying themselves. And this is going to make it difficult for you. So, I mean, it, it'll go from bad to worse because I feel like, or you're going to hear that this person's really happy, really having a good time, isn't even bothered by the disconnect, you know, um, and I think you're going to kind of be like, wow, I thought I felt bad before. Now I feel really bad because they don't, it doesn't even seem like it's affecting them at all. Um, 
Keep in mind, it's a show. It's a show. It's absolutely a show. Everyone, everyone deals and copes with things in different ways and projects differently. So don't think just because of what's being projected on the outside that's actually internally what's going on. So don't let that kind of upset you um, any more than you need to be upset. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. We can certainly set that up, but definitely make sure you click on the link below for your Vimeo portion of the reading, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there check out my playlist I'm wrapping up my 2022 sun moon predictions check yours out also the 2021s are in my playlist also if you dig for them and see if they rang true for you for this year um, ask me a question on instant go oh, no don't ask me a question on instant go it's phasing out check me out on Facebook Instagram TikTok like share subscribe or donate otherwise Pisces I will see you in the Vimeo adios from Veronica Garnett bye